Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you the one channel side mixer in Reaper. Now the purpose of the one channel side mixer is that it'll allow us to control more elements or parameters, especially the volume fader, one track at a time. Using up less screen real estate than opening the full mixer each time. Now we first open Reaper, it should look like this with the arrangement window up here and the mixer down here. If the mixer is hidden, we can just open it up in the view menu right here. And it defaults to being docked down here. But we can go to this tab down here and drag it out. See this gray box and let go. Now the mixer is floating. Or we could right click it and dock it again. Now, for this trick, we're going to put one channel of our mixer over on the left side of the arrangement window. So, first, we're going to right click over here and turn off the option show multiple rows of tracks when size permits. And we'll also right click and make sure scroll view when tracks activated is also turned on, which it is by default. Now we'll go down here and grab this tab again, drag it out, see that gray box? But instead of letting go, just drag it to the left side, see the entire left side has a gray bar, and let go. And now our mixer is over here on the left side of the arrangement window. So now we go over here and grab this line and drag it over so we only see one track at a time. If we don't get it perfect like this, if we select each track, it's not going to stay in alignment left to right. So make sure you bring it over perfectly so we just see one track like this. And then it's stable as we select each track. And now notice as we select each track, the mixer changes to that track. Our kick, our snare, our synth loop, our piano, making it a lot easier to grab a full fader and adjust the volume for each track. Now I should mention that by default, we have volume knobs on each track, but we could change that to faders, go to options, go to themes, and choose the theme adjuster. And we can go to the track control panel tab and switch the volume size from knob to fader. So we can adjust the fader right here. But for this purpose, let's keep it as a knob. Because we have a full fader right here to adjust. So now if we're mixing our track, let's mute these three. We could start with the kick. Get the volume just right. Go to the snare. And keep working one track at a time. And then finally, the piano. So it's a very quick way to work. Just selecting each track and adjusting their fader, the pan, and even the effects or sends on each track. Sing it all in one window without taking up too much room. And we can readjust the height of the mixer, hold on control on the PC or command on the Mac, and make the effects or sends bigger or smaller, making the fader bigger, or just make it so we only see the fader. Let's keep it about here. Now, because of that, we could also use the feature to see the user interface of our plugins over here as well. Like on our kick, there's an oscilloscope meter on this track. So if we right click it, we could choose to view it in the mixer. Then we can make this track a bit bigger without holding down the modifier, but just grab it so it's bigger and resize it like this. Now we can see this meter as the track plays. Which looks different than the snare. 
but there's also a VU meter on the snare. Let's right click it and show that one in the mixer. Make room for it like this. Now you can see the VU meter on the snare. While still seeing the oscilloscope on the kick. And the synth loop has a goniometer on it. Show embedded user interface in the mixer. Make this bigger. Now each track is set up to look different. We can still grab the faders the same way, but we'll see the meters differently on each track. Or any plugins we want. And the piano looks like this. But now you're probably thinking, what if I still want to use the bigger mixer? Well, we can still do that if we save this as a screen set. Let's go to View and choose Screen Sets. And we'll choose the Windows tab and create screen sets for each way we want to view the mixer. For example, let's go to Screen Set 2 and save it. And we'll save all the parameters available. And let's name it Side Mixer. Now we can recall this screen set which is keyboard shortcut over here. And we can change those shortcuts right over here. But now let's hide the mixer and save that right here as no mixer. So now we can jump back and forth to each one of these screen sets. See the mixer, work through our project. If we want to hide it, Hit that first keyboard shortcut and bounce back and forth very quickly, seeing it and hiding it. But if we still want the bottom mixer or the floating mixer, we can view those as well. Let's open this up again, grab the tab and drag it out and drop it at the bottom. And now our mixer is back down here. Go back to our screen sets. Create a new one and name it Bottom Mixer. Now we could switch between those three very quickly. Nothing, Side Mixer, Bottom Mixer. Now, if we want to float the full mixer, just drag that tab again, see the gray box, drop it. Now we have a full floating mixer. And we could save this as well. Floating mixer. And now hit the first keyboard shortcut, and that hides everything. If you want to see the side mixer, it shows up right here for each track we want to adjust. View the bottom mixer like this, or the floating mixer like this. So we don't lose anything in the process. We could have any view we want. But my favorite view is the one channel side mixer. Because we can choose one track at a time and make all the adjustments we need right from here and hide it very quickly. So that's pretty much it. That's the one channel side mixer in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it and I'll see you next time. Thanks.